Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the VK2801. It's the Tier 6 German light tank. It's located on the north spawn of Mines, and this one is under the command of the base man from hell. Game on. Well, this tank used to be a very, very good light tank if you could get the derp gun. Unfortunately, War Gaming took that away from us, so all we've got now is the standard 75mm that's armed with 110 alpha, 132mm of penetration with standard ammo, and 158 with the APCR. He's doing a quick run to get to the South Island before the enemy does, and I think he's succeeded, although he's been spotted. Just needs to watch out that that Rudy doesn't fire on him. I got away with it. Now, he managed to get down here, but there's bound to be somebody over in that corner. So he might want to use the waves to get south so that they can't shoot at him. And he's just spotted a KB-2 on the enemy team. In fact, he might be able to get shots on some of the enemy team that are going up the hill towards the centre. Oh, yes, he's going to get some nice shots into them, hitting their rear. He's got 120 off that, Rudy. High roll, another high roll. Yeah, the only worry is, of course, if one of those turns around and starts firing back, and one of them did, I'm not sure which one it was. I think it's the Rudy's actually looking this way. Now putting shells into the M6. Yep, got him again. That, that Rudy is so upset, he looks like he's coming this way. I think you're firing into a dead tank there. Oh, CS44, fired back. Okay, where are you? He's behind the wreck. Oh, it's the M6 that he was firing at, actually. Now I see what he was going for. He's trying to shoot and scoop. The reason he was not firing into what I thought was a wreck was so we couldn't see the M6. But the M6 was definitely there. Okay, that CS44 is there as well, and he's looking directly towards us. And he's not happy. That's better. Goes into the engine bay of the M6. Go for the kill. Didn't get it. But whilst we're distracting these guys, they're not shooting at our teammates above the centre line. And they're getting more free shots at, at them. Although they're not... Don't appear to be scoring anything. Oh, that one bounced off. And there's the kill. So it's not a bad little light tank. They were originally built by MAN as the replacement for the Panzer II Lux, the Alstrom L. Oh, kill shot. <laughs> Somebody else gets it. It was the SU-152 in the end who got that kill. Yeah, the um, the two tanks they built were the VK-1602 Leopard, uh, which is basically supposed to be a 20-ton tank, and then the VK-2801, which was supposed to be a 30-ton tank. Both light tanks. But uh, they both got cancelled because they were too much like the... Oh, don't flip over. Too much like the Panther in terms of weight and its fire capability and speed. So in the end, they decided, no, they wouldn't go ahead. And that Tiger 131 came down anticipating that we would be coming up. But he just didn't think that we would actually get onto him that quickly. And oh, he got a bit of crush damage there. And the 75mm round is having no trouble getting through that Tiger. And he managed to fox the guy there to fire in the wrong place. And there's the Tiger 131 knocked out. So the enemy is in a bit of a, bit of a poor position now. They've only got seven tanks left. And now we're firing into the rear of a panther. And you should kill him with the next oh, two rounds. In the two rounds. And somebody else got there as well. Kill stealed. Oh, now that's a Nashorn. So we need to pull back, use the bush mechanic. He might fire something our way. Remember, he might have the 88mm gun. And the Dickamax has turned up. He's got the 105mm gun. And he's gone. The Nashorn's still there. Two, three more, sh two more shots. And last one to kill. At least he got this one. 
<laughs> so the base man's now got, now got three kills. But unfortunately, there's an SU 1.2 round the corner, so he needs to move quick. Otherwise, that guy's gonna. Oh, well, he's let him get very close and too close. Yeah, I did sort of like say you need to move, and he stood his ground and tried to kill the SU 1.2. That was a mistake. Yeah, you don't stand against a 15 centimeter gun. Oh, even a 15.2 centimeter gun. You get the mover out of there quickly before he fires. And now he's got this position and he's got armor behind him to protect him from our SU who's actually coming up. And there you go. Well, he's died. Our SU 152 got him. And the last person alive is the enemy RT, the M44. And I don't think he'll survive very long. Oh, yeah. the VK got the kill, actually, not the SU-152. And it's all over. And here's the end of battle stats, and it was an ace tanker for the base man from hell in the VK-2801. He got a sharp shooter for getting 10 or more consecutive shots on the enemy, a, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage, a master gunner for getting five armor penetrating shots in a row, a, a fire for effect for doing more damage to the hit points for his own vehicle, and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, he got 10 in total. Not other medals, I'm afraid, but the ace tanker should be enough. 16,400 with some win eight from this one, which is more than Super Unicum. It's very good indeed. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he actually got the highest damage in the game. 2,763, but no high caliber. Did he accidentally shoot somebody of his own team? I don't think he did. I'm pretty sure he only hit the enemy tanks. But maybe accidentally one of his shots actually hit one of our teammates by and he didn't see it. 2,763 went to the base man, 2,402 went to a VK-302D, and 1,487 went to a T-29. You can see how far above that T-29 he is in terms of damage. It's another 1,300 hit points altogether. So yes, he was really doing well in that game. He actually did get the highest number of kills. He got three kills. Two kills went to the VK-3002D, the T-29, the SU-152, the Tiger P, the VK-3002M on his own team. And only two members of the enemy team managed to get more than one kill. Their KV-2 and their M-44. And, of course, the only other one who got a kill was the guy who killed him. And the SU-152, yeah, never stay in front of an SU-152. Uh, you always need to get to the, the rounded end, not the pointy end. Okay, when it came to base XP, he's got that one as well. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,391 base experience points to the base man. 1,040 went to the VK-302D. And 921 went to the T-29. He fired 38 rounds. Got 36 direct hits and 26 penetrations. Damage of 2,763 hit points, of which 1,507 were at more than 300 metres. He received three hits from the enemy, one penetrated, two non-penetrations. I'm afraid it's the, the penetrating shot that actually finished him off altogether. I think it seemed to remember. Uh, I don't think it was the other guys over the other side who actually uh, um, took him out. I uh, can't remember. What, one shot actually did bounce. I think those are the ones that came from the centre line. Those rounds bounced off him. 410 hit points of damage blocked by armor, 4 enemy vehicles spotted, 6 enemy vehicles damaged, 3 killed, 1,514 hit points of spotting assist. He earned 50,000 for the battle and after repair and ammunition respawn took away 32,585 credits altogether. He got 25 bonds for completing a mission and 2,086 XP, 2,087 for mission completion and 4,173 experience points altogether. He said it feels like seal clubbing. Well, I suppose if you've got a bit of experience and you spend most of your time in tier 8, 9 and 10 light tanks, uh, when you pop back down to tier 6, it does feel a little easy and you see a light tank beating up heavy tanks and uh, you feel, oh, well, this is easy stuff. But I suppose it's just because you've built up a whole load of skills at the higher tiers, which, of course, you then apply lower down the table. And yeah, it can be, can feel like uh, seal clubbing, even though technically it's not.
because after all you're only tier six so you only got tier six capabilities in this game uh, and uh, sometimes your shells were going in there and not actually doing anything on the enemy mainly because they were angled but uh, yeah i still think though you didn't show a tier tier 10 ability by getting out of the way of that su-152 the moment I, I saw that coming around the corner i thought no out of here quick run <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to see that thing coming around the corner that's the last thing you want to see uh yeah you just want to scarp it as quickly as you can and uh, get away from him but uh, unfortunately in this occasion it didn't work so look, great little battle by the baseman if you enjoyed this replay please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm And of course, please do let other people know that our channel exists because apparently not a lot of people do know. We do have a number of subs subscribers, but that number hasn't changed much in the past ooh, three years. So um, thanks for watching.